My Elephant is Blue, a book about big, heavy feelings by Melinda Smarki and Vashanti Unka. One morning, I woke to find an elephant sitting on my chest. I found it hard to get up or move around, to breathe or talk. I'm blue, the elephant said. Can you please move, Blue? I asked. I don't want to move. This is a good spot for me to sit. You're crushing me, I said. Yet I find you very comfortable, said Blue. Mom and Dad were worried. They said, perhaps if you cheered up a bit or smile at it, but it's hard to cheer up or smile when an elephant is sitting on your chest. My brother said, wow, that's different. I said, I don't want to be different, at least not like this. Maybe if I help you push, my sister suggested. She leaned against Blue while I shoved. Even together, we weren't strong enough. It's an elephant, I said. It's an elephant, Mom and Dad said. Surely it can't stay forever. It's bound to move on sometime. I hope sometime was soon. Mom took every book on every elephant out of the library and started reading. Dad called an elephant specialist someone had recommended. It might help if you ate something, Mom said. I'm not hungry. It was true. Not even for chocolate? I thought about this but shook my head. Not even for chocolate. I'll keep it here until you are hungry, she said. Dad said, exercise and fresh air never hurt. I was tired of staying around the house all the time. I wanted to go for a walk, but it was impossible to walk with an elephant on me. I want to go for a walk, I said to Blue. Can you move? <laughs> Blue replied, turning her back to me. Was she crying? Would you like to come for a walk with me? I tried. We can go together. Blue helped by putting two feet on the ground, and we managed to walk around the block. That walk was nice, Blue said the next day. Would you like to go for another one? I asked. Maybe. This time we walked around the block in the other direction. Some people said hello to us and smiled. We both smiled back. It would have been rude not to. The next day, Dad said, let's all go for a walk. As I put on my shoes, I asked Blue, are you hungry? No, Blue said, at least not yet. Mom's packing a picnic, I said. What are your favorite things to eat? We went to the park because elephants like to eat grass and bark. We had sandwiches and pie and the chocolate Mom had saved, and some grapes and apples that Blue and I shared. Blue put all four feet on the ground to reach the grass. She munched for ages, and then we lay down side by side. The sun shone, and the fresh air blew gently on our faces. I felt lighter than I had for a long time. Next, my sister and I played tag while Blue watched. Then all of us played football. And on the way home, Blue walked beside me, and her trunk held my hand. Something had changed. Blue, I said, you're turning pink. That's because I don't feel so blue anymore, she said. Blue still lives with us. I take her for walks, and we share our favorite things to keep her in the pink. And although sometimes she is blue again, I've discovered she has another color. Yellow is the one we love the best.